I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2015 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 17. Hey, in my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there and think beyond the boundaries for really tough questions. So now, let's dive straight into question 17. Okay, question 17. So this question is testing us on number times value. And this question, we will solve it using the model method. And these and this question has three parts, part A, B, and C. I'll be going through part A right now and B and C later in this video. Okay, so let's read the question first. Three girls, Amy, Beth, and Cindy had the same number of coins. Amy and Beth each had a mix of 50 cent and 10 cent coins. Amy had 9 10 cent coins, while Beth had 15 10 cent coins. Cindy had only 50 cent coins. Part A. Of the three girls, who had the most money and who had the least? Okay. So this is the question for part A. Okay, since that we have read the question, we should highlight the key information. Okay, so three girls, Amy, Beth, and Cindy, had the same number of coins. Amy and Beth each had a mix of 50 cent and 10 cent coins. Amy had 9 10 cent coins, while Beth had 15 10 cent coins. Cindy had only 50 cent coins. Part A. Of the three girls who had the most money and who had the least okay so this is the key information that I have highlighted now that we have read and highlighted the key information we can draw the model so this is for Amy this is for Beth and this is for Cindy so since they have said Amy Beth and Cindy had the same number of coins all of the models are the same size okay they are all the same size because they had the same number of coins Amy and Beth each had a mix of 50 cent and 10 cent coins this is why Amy had some 10 and some 50 cent coins and Beth also has some and some 10 cent and some 50 cent coins and they've told us that Cindy only had 50 cent coins that is why she has no 10 cent coins but only 50 cent coins and another information, Amy had 9 10 cent coins, okay, and Beth had 15 10 cent coins. Okay, so these are all the information in an easy visualizable model, okay. So now, who had the least money? We can work up from the most money first. I'm so sorry, not the least, okay, it's the most. So, who had the most money? Is it Cindy, Beth, or Amy? The answer is... I'll tell you after we discuss. Okay, so basically, we see that Cindy had 50 cent in the whole bar, but the rest of them have a mix. But is 50 cent more than 10 cent? Or is 10 cent more than 50 cent? 50 cent is definitely more than 10 cent. So that is why the Cindy has the most amount of money. Okay? So I hope you understand that. So now, who has the least amount of money? We know the most amount of money is Cindy. But who has the least? Amy or Betty? Okay, take a guess first. I'll discuss right now. Okay, so Amy, let's um, look at Amy, okay? So Amy has 9, 10 cent coins only. But she has more 50 cent coins than Beth. And Beth has 15, 10 cent coins. But she has lesser 50 cent coins than Amy and more 10 cent coins than eh, and more 10 cent coins than Amy so who has more Beth or Amy each of them have a different 10 cent or 50 cent more than them so who is the answer Amy or Beth okay so the answer is okay so I'll tell you what is the answer so if you can see over here just like before is 50 cent more than 10 cent or 10 cent more than 50 cent 50 cent is always more than 10 cent right because it has a greater value so amy has a more 50 cent than betty eh, sorry not betty is beth okay so that is why amy has more money than beth even though beth has more 10 cent coins she can't match up with the 50 cent coins with these 6 10 cent coins as the difference because 15 minus 9 is 6. So it does not work that way. That is why Amy has more money than Beth 
so bef is the least and cindy is the most okay so this is how you solve the question for part a so now that we have solved the question for part a let's move on to part b okay so part b let's read the question what was the difference what was the difference in the total value of amy and bev's coins okay so they are asking us the difference in the total value of amy and bev coins okay so for this we will use the same model okay and now these are the models right is the same model right now you see beth and amy so we are only going to focus on beth and amy for now so they are asking us the total value so the whole model who has what is the difference in the value so we know that amy has more money right so amy has more money so we should take amy minus beth but we don't really know the value right so now we are going to do this 15 minus 9 equals 6 so it will give us this area over here right this area over here 15 minus 9 equals 6 so these two areas are 6 here and here right so there's 50 cent over here because this part is a part of the 50 cent model so this is 50 cent which is 6 and here it is part of the 10 cent in 15 so 6 10 cent coins and 56 cent eh, I'm sorry, 650 cent coins over here. So basically, now we have now we have a value over here, right? But when we take Amy minus Beth now, it's actually we can minus it because do you know why? When we minus Amy and Beth, we know that the 50 cent coins are the same now. The 50 cent coins are the same now over here. Um, this is excluded, okay? We exclude this thing first. And this 50 cent coins are gone when we minus each other. Because Amy minus Beth, the 50 cent coins are equal and the 10 cent coins are equal over here, right? There's 9 10 cent coins. And this over here is excluded. So Amy minus Beth, the 10 cent coins are gone and the 50 cent coins are gone in this area. See? Here is gone. And the 50 cent coins over here are gone. Okay? So it's basically shaded. Now, it's where we can use the, the value. So 50 cent is more than 10 cent, right? So we take 6 times 50 cent first, which is $3, and 10 times 6, and 6 times 10 cent, which is 60 cent. So basically, if you... $3 minus 60 cent is the difference in the whole value. So I hope you understand that now. So it's basically $2.40. So that is the answer for part B. So I hope you understand part B's explanation. So let's move on to part C. Okay. So part C. That is a difference. Okay. So let's read the question first. So all of these are the same. Let's just read part C. Beth used all her 50 cent coins to buy some food. She then had $10 less in coins than Cindy. How many 50 cent coins did Cindy have? Okay, so they're asking this. So let's highlight the key information. Beth used all her 50 cent coins. So she used all the 50 cent coins to buy some food. She bought some food. Then she then had $10 less in coins than Cindy. How many 50 cent coins did Cindy have? So they're asking about the whole bar. So this is Amy and Beth. And this is Cindy. Okay. So now, they are saying that she used all of her 50 cent coins. So all of these 50 cent coins are gone. Right? But before that, we can find something. Which is the, the 10 cent coins. See over here, this method over here. 15 times 10 cent coin is equal to $1.50 cent coin. $1.50 cent. So this is basically taking 15 times 10 cent to find the value. So it will give us $1.50 cent as the value over here. So we know that she used up all her 50 cent coins. So these 50 cent coins are gone 
they are shaded and they are telling us that she had ten dollars less so that means cindy had one dollar fifty cent plus ten dollars because this fifty cent bar over here just now that we have shaded represents ten dollars okay so let me show that to you so this thing over here basically represent ten dollars okay so the total value is 1.50 plus dollar 10 so this is the total value of cindy's bar okay but are they asking how many the value of her coins or the or the or the number of coins she has so next step cindy has one dollar fifty cent plus ten dollars so this is what i showed you here okay let me erase the certain part over here so one dollar fifty cent is here so let me use the laser pointer so here so this is ten dollars as i mentioned just now and so we know that cindy is one dollar fifty cent plus ten dollars which will give us eleven dollars and fifty cent but is this the answer no they are asking us how many 50 cent coins coins so coins is number not the value so this is where the concept of number times value came from from all the parts where we take the number times the value okay so how do we find the number of coins when we have the value okay so it is really simple in order to find the number we just need to take the value right the big value divided by the small value so eleven dollars fifty cent right we want to find how many fifty cents she has so we take eleven dollars fifty cent divided by fifty cent because she, how many fifty cent coins does she have so fifty cent so eleven dollars fifty cent divided by fifty cent will give us twenty three so twenty three is the answer for part c okay so i hope you understand my explanation for question 17 part a b and c and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye